quiero que, tú no quiero que veas como yo. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily and today we're going to be doing some shelf styling along with a little bit of some Instagram content. So you guys might remember this Target shelf that I got a couple of videos back. So I finally got my record player in and I also ordered a couple of Amazon home products to help me style for today. I also brought over a bunch of stuff from around the apartment just to help style and mix things up a little bit. I didn't want to spend too much because I already have a bunch of home decor stuff anyways that I haven't been using like this vase and little things like this and then my coffee table books and stuff. So we're gonna be doing that styling today. So like I said, my record player finally came in and I have that clip from a couple of days ago. It's actually been a couple of weeks, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip right now so you guys can see the unboxing. All right, you guys, so I wasn't even gonna film today but I was in the middle of working on stuff and I got a fun package. Let me show you what it is. Are you ready? Woo! I got my record player in. <gasps> I'm so excited. It's Victrola six in one turntable. I'm so excited. I'm like nervous to open it too, but we're gonna open it. We're gonna open her. Look at my outfit. First of all, the comfy outfit. We were about to edit a video, but we gotta stop so we can open up this guy. Okay, let's do it. I need scissors. I need scissors. This is literally what we are waiting for so we can organize or uh, style that shelf. But I'm gonna be pretty busy, so I'm not gonna be able to style it right now. It'll have to be later. Gosh. I'm so excited because it's like the more like vintage one. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. It looks so cool. Here she is. Oh my god, let's get her out of here. This is so sick. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I mean, how pretty is this? So it's the six in one player. So obviously you got your record player section. You could put a CD, it has radio. And then on the side, it has a cassette tape player. And I can't remember the other features, but everything's in here. I'm so excited. I did want a lighter wood color, but there was none available. But I think this is still super nice. I'm going to go ahead and put it on top of the shelf and let's just see. But right now, I'm not going to be able to like fully style the shelf or anything because I do have to get some work done. So yeah, so let's just go ahead and put it on there and then see. So I just set it up like this for now. And honestly, it's not too bad. It's not too bad that it's like up here, but an option we have is I like undo the shelf in order to take off this top shelf. And then that way it sits right there. It's a little bit higher. I can put like a taller plant just like in there just to like make sure there's not a lot of space in there or something. But picture that like going in here, you know? So I think that would be kind of cool. And then obviously I still have to remove the sticker, so try to ignore that. And then I'll just have my CDs and if, I'm not sure if um, vinyls will fit down there. I forgot to get my vinyl back from my sister and since I didn't have one, like I, didn't, I wasn't collecting them or anything. So now I get to, but yeah, if they don't fit there, then I can just get a rack and have them up here, you know? So let me know what you think. I know some people were saying to move it over here. Like I do like that idea, but the thing is, I really love having the mirror here. Like it's perfect the moment you get here, the moment you're gonna leave, you just look in the mirror. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it makes like a nice photo spot too because of the light coming in. So I don't really wanna put it here. Right there, it's definitely gonna be a little too much. So I kind of only have this option. And then some other people also said that I should like tilt the shelf, 
which I did. I did that. And then the only thing is that it's still just really wide right here that it looks really strange and it takes up a lot of space when I do that. So I think it's just going to have to be like this. But honestly, it's not that bad. Having that little stool there kind of divides it up. And as long as I don't make it too messy, then I think it should be fine. It's actually looking a lot better now that I see it like this. But let me know what you think. It looks cute. And this really is gonna inspire me to add some more like little vintage touches to my place because I don't know, I really love it. You guys know I have my vintage mirror. I love like vintage -y rugs and stuff like that. And then my other mirror that you know I've painted like the vintage gold color. Like I wanna have more vintage touches in here so i think having this is going to be a great start to just slowly start adding a little bit more of that style but yeah i'm really excited so hopefully it turns out good when I walk the day, I am you. all right so now we're ready to style and i'm not gonna lie i already put some stuff together just to see what would work and what wouldn't because i want to do an instagram reel for this whole setup so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing that reel. It's gonna be similar to my bedding one that I did a couple of videos back as well. So it's gonna be like a stop motion type of video where all the items appear. And then after we do that, I'm gonna go through and show you guys all the different little decor pieces that I'm gonna be using. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna set it all up so you guys can see the whole before and after. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be working on an Instagram reel. So I have my little setup here and I'm gonna be using the app LifeLax, just like last time. And this is how we're gonna create the little time-lapse video. I already know how this is gonna be styled. I have a picture of it and everything, just so the whole process can go as smoothly as possible. So let's get started. So I'm all done with the Instagram reel, so let's see what it looks like. All right, so there's one clip where it was a mistake, so I just have to delete that. But other than that, it looks pretty good. All right, now let's go through all of the decor details. So first of all, I was gifted this record player by Victrola. So I'm super thankful for that. I've been working with them over on Instagram. So if you guys wanna see the fun content that I'm creating for them, then definitely check it out over there. All right, so let's start off with this top shelf. So, so first I got these candlestick holders off of Amazon. Really nice vintage look, I love it. I think it looks perfect next to this record player because again, it goes with the whole like vintage style and everything. And then I have the Skindapsis plant just trailing down the shelf. Looks really cute. I also got this one from Amazon. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It's a little bit cheaper, but honestly, it works. I thought it was a little too bright, but it's all good. Maybe if I want to adjust the color a little bit, I can, but it's a little vase, so you can always add like some dried flowers or something. I probably wouldn't add any water into this because like I said, it's cheap. It would probably ruin it. So I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. And then now the second row. So we have my vinyls on here. So I don't have that many yet, but because I'm working with Victrola, they offered me like their monthly subscription, which is something new that they're gonna be doing where they offer three new records every month. What's cool about it is that you take a quiz and then depending on that quiz, they'll send you over some records so you can discover some new music. So we have these right here. So we have Sufjan Stevens on here, the Decemberist. This one is St. Vincent. Then I have the Killers Best Hits. 
And then of course we have After Hours by The Weeknd. And then this one I've had forever, but just never had a record player. It's Interpol. I got this one when I saw them live. I don't even know why I got it because I didn't have a record player, but now I get to use it. Then over here we have my propagated string of hearts in this cute little vase that I got. I can't remember where I got it, but I'll have everything linked down below. And then we have a little candle right here for my Valbox subscription box. And then we have another little plant right here, a little succulent. And then the next row, we have this little vase I also got from Amazon. So it's a nice little silhouette. Again, you could use it to add some dry flowers or something, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it like that. And then I have my little singing bowl from India with a smudge stick here. And then I have my Homebody book by Joanna Gaines, Wild at Home by Hilton Carter, and At Home in Joshua Tree by Sarah and Rich Combs. Another cute little succulent here. My box of matches that my friend gifted me. I love these. And then some more smudge sticks here with this little shell holder. And then the last row I have my CDs and here's a little look if you care what CDs I have. And I was pretty sure I had more but there's all I could find from my mom's house. So I don't know if I come across more then I'll just be adding to it. And then this vase, I don't really have much in there. I just have all I have in here are some guitar picks that I collected from shows and stuff. So we have those in there and then this little box of matches because I want to start collecting those. And I basically just added that there to add another neutral tone onto the shelf and not have it too blank, but also not too messy because these, this shelf right here is already a little bit busy. And then lastly, I have my journal that I got from India. It's just stuffed with like a bunch of little memories from India and some other trips. And then right here, I was taking off the stickers, but they've been so hard to take off. Somebody said to use like a lemon essential oil or something, but I don't have that. So I was just using soap and water. Later, I'll keep working on that. But for now, that's gonna have to do. So that's it, that's the whole finished look. And then here's a look from afar. I know at first I was concerned about having it here, but honestly it doesn't look that bad. I kept that store right here, it kind of divides it up from the TV stand, and I love it. I think it looks good, and what's great about these shelves is that I can always mix things up. I'm gonna be adding more records, of course, so slowly you guys will see my collection grow, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I really love it and I hope you do too. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and also subscribe if you haven't already. Again, if you're interested in any of the home decor items that I have on my new shelf, then I'll have everything linked down below. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Te quiero ver